Hello world, this is Lisa Fredrickson, your friend and professor from Johnson County Community College. In this short screencast, I'm going to show you how to turn on the extensions on a Windows machine. Here I am in a Windows Explorer window, and I'm looking at the 110 folder in the JCCC folder on the desktop of this PC. And as you can see, I have several folders and several files, and all the extensions on my files are showing. Now, for whatever reason, Microsoft hides these extensions from you by default. But to me, they're extremely helpful. DOCX tells me this is a Word document. PDF tells me it's a PDF file. XLSX tells me it's an Excel file, a CSS file, an HTML file, a TIFF, a ZIP. So to me, those extensions are very, very helpful. If you're on a Windows 10 machine, you can click the View tab and check the File Name Extensions checkbox. By default, it's turned off. But notice that when it's turned off, I see no extensions on my files. When I click it, I see the DOCX, the PDF, the CSS, the HTML extensions. Now that information is supposedly over here in the type column as well. But I definitely prefer seeing the actual extension on the file. Otherwise, you're tempted to put the extension on twice. So once again, to show the extensions, you're going to want to click the View tab and then make sure the file name extensions checkbox is checked. Now if you're on an earlier version of Windows, it's not quite this easy. So let's go through that. It's File, Change Folder and Search Options, then click the View tab, and then make sure you have cleared the checkbox for Hide Extensions for Known File Types. For whatever unknown reason, Microsoft hides the extensions from us by default and prevents us from seeing this valuable information. So the first thing I do when I sit down to the computer is unhide my extensions. I click OK, and then I can see the extensions on my files again. Another very handy thing is to view your files and folders by details. That gives you these four columns, name, date modified, type, and size, that you can sort on. So there I'm in an ascending sort, now I'm in a descending sort by name, or by date modified, or by type. That puts all the, the files of the same type together. So my Word documents are together, my CSS files, my zip files, or by size. If I'm trying to clean up my computer, I love sorting by size so I can figure out what are my big files and which ones can I potentially delete. So there you have it. View, check file name extensions, and also view by details. To me, those are two essential Windows skills that really help you manage your computer. For more great tips like this, consider taking our CPCA 138 class and you'll learn more about file and folder management in Windows. Thank you.